It's time for a quick lure comparison. The Northland Jawbreaker versus the Z-Man Chatterbait. Similar profile lures, but with different actions. Let's see how the bass like them. First, we're gonna look at the Jawbreaker as I'm reeling it in here, and uh, I get a strong hit right off the bat, but uh, no hook set, no hook set. And uh, that's a problem with the Jawbreaker because of the weed guard on there. Uh, several times in my trial here, I had a good bite and lost it. Um, so that's unfortunate. I'm sure that the Jawbreaker does better in weedy situations where other lures aren't uh, gonna do as well. Um, but you have to have a hook set for the ages and I would recommend braided line for driving that hook home. Now let's look at a chatterbait. Chatterbait, similar profile, but uh, works a little bit different and uh, the much easier hook set, uh, just like a spinnerbait actually. And, uh, but the chatterbait is a combination of a jig and uh, with a blade on the top of it. And it has a little wiggle like the jawbreaker does, um, but it is not necessarily a top water and it works, uh, well, it's just much more diverse as a, as a lure. And the hook set is just, it almost sets itself. Um, so that, that's a, a definite plus on the side of the chatterbait. Both of these baits, of course, come with, uh, come in various colors and um, styles and are readily available. So that's not necessarily a factor. Cost, about the same. Uh, so that's not necessarily a factor. But as far as actually getting a hook set in, I've had a lot more luck with the chatterbait. So let's review. Jawbreaker Spoon by Northland. Uh, it is weedless, so that is a benefit. It's inexpensive, readily available, not hard to get. It does have an enticing action with a great wiggle to it. And it casts like a dream. That's an asset, uh, especially in the wind. It works not as a true topwater, but just under the topwater, say six inches below the surface. But unfortunately, with that weed guard, there's frequent missed strikes. So that's a downside. And it requires a strong hook set. Hook set for the ages. And I recommend braid for no stretch. And also, just wrapping it up here, I would say that it is ideal for heavy cover. Weeds, lily pads, uh, grass, and things like that. Now the chatter bait is a, is a good bait that is uh, a different profile, but I would say it is weed resistant, not necessarily weed uh, less. Inexpensive and available. It also has an enticing action, similar style, but different action. Um, it is a slower presentation lure, and you can use it almost like a crankbait or like a spinnerbait. It does cast well, um, but not as good as the jawbreaker, uh, but it is highly versatile. You can really slow it down, work it like a jig, uh, or burn it like a, a spinnerbait, or add a trailer to it. Uh, some of them come with trailers to add a little extra action to it. It has an easy, easy hook set, and it is good in many conditions, not just weedy conditions. So as far as I'm concerned, the Z-Man Chatterbait Chatterbait wins the day, but the jawbreaker has its uses. Happy fishing! Thank you.